Welcome back. I'm now joined by Kim Hobscheidt with Dan Towing. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. So you're here to talk about the Spirit Ride. Yep. Can you tell, for our viewers who don't know, tell us what the Spirit Ride is exactly? It is a nonprofit organization. Um, it was started last year. Their mission is to promote the slow down, move over law and bring more awareness to that mm. while honoring the first responders who have been killed on the roadside. Okay, and how, how big is that, how big of an issue is that um, for first responders? And we're talking about tow truck drivers, police officers, firefighters, EMS, EMS. the road crews that work on the side of the road. Mm. Um, all of them are impacted by the slow down, move over law. It is, um, a, a huge problem. Um, one tow truck operator is killed every six days in the United States. Wow. Um, we have lost so far to date in 2018 already 23. Wow. We've lost seven law enforcement officers and all of this is in the line of duty. Wow. And, and this, the Spirit Ride is actually coming to Grand Junction, it so is. that's exciting. Very much so. And so can you tell me about that, when that's happening? Um, we will be picking up, the, the casket is called Spirit, mm -hmm. um, and we will be picking up the casket in Glenwood Springs on July 7th on Saturday. Um, the time is not for sure yet because we're waiting on a relay to get right. all the way through. Um, but we'll be picking that up in Glenwood Springs on July 7th. We will bring it to Grand Junction. We'll store it over the weekend. And then on Monday, July 9th, we will be having a ceremony um, at the fire station number three off of 25 and a half road in Grand Junction. Okay. Um, the ceremony is at two o'clock. Okay. We'll be doing a procession with the casket and many first responders. I've heard um, from many from surrounding communities that want to take part in this procession mm -hmm. where we will load it up at our shop and we will take it down North Ave to the, the ceremony site. Okay. So lots of first responder vehicles will be parading down the... Perfect. And then you guys are handing it off? We will then, after the ceremony, we will load it back up and we will take it to Green River, Utah, okay. where it will um, be transferred to another tow truck company who then picks it up and takes it to the next leg of the relay. Okay. And just out of curiosity, the casket is like a representation right. of those who, who, we've, who we've lost, lost Cor in the line. Correct. Okay. Um, it is something that they had specially built. It's um, decorated in the American flag because we're all patriots. Mm. Um, and then it's got a mural on the front that um, specifies the law enforcement, the tow truck, the EMS, as well as the road crews. Um, because that's what this law is all about. Right. Um, and so the casket is just a symbol mm. for us to honor the ones that we've already lost. Okay. And try to help bring that awareness. Okay. And so we're encouraging the public to come out to the ceremony. Absolutely. Participate. Thank your first responders. Absolutely. There'll be many first responders there. It'll be a, a, a great um, ceremony. And... Um, wish it on its way to Green River. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you very much. Everyone go out to the Spirit Ride, check it out. <laughs> and we'll have all that information on our web channel as well, westernslopedown.com.